father KO'd uh, Brazil. That was pretty dominant. Obviously, uh, Andrew Ruiz is fighting Joshua. Just give me your uh, take on both of those fights. Well, Wilder, you know, you can't underestimate this guy. He is probably the best puncher in the heavyweight division. He hits you one shot, knocks you out. He's a very good puncher. I was very, he, he, looked, he, he looked good when I had when I had him with the Gypsy King. He had, I thought he had him out too, but he get up somehow. But I'm not sure how, but he did. And so, and uh, you know the big fight coming up for uh, Joshua. Joshua and Andy. Um, you know I used to train Andy. I trained Andy for like five or six years. Don't write him off. He's got fast hands, he's a good puncher, he's a dedicated kid. He does, maybe he looks like a little chubby guy, yes, but the thing is, that chubby guy can fight. Yes, he can, definitely. He can. Thurman, where does he rank on the welterweights for you now? Uh, he's really pretty good out there. I know he looked bad in his last fight. He didn't have a good performance. I think everyone has a bad night once in a while, but uh, you know, he's a solid puncher, good good boxer. Um, he's a very, very difficult fight, but I think uh, Manny's speed and tenacity will be able to overtake it. The Josecito Lopez fight obviously was after you know, two years or something. Caught him, almost got him out of there, I want to yeah. say 6 7, something like that. Does that, I don't know, give you uh, I saw you smile. I mean, does, oh, yeah. that, uh, does that, you know, yeah, a good thing? Is, well, the thing is, Manny is, Manny can still, uh, is a good puncher. And he, and he still has a lot of that speed. I mean, he, you know, he's 41, but the speed's still there, believe me. I mean, if, you know, if Manny had slowed down that much, I would, I would be the first one to tell him to retire, but I'm not even close, because his work ethic is unbelievable, his training method. I mean, he's still a great role model for all my kids in the gym to watch, because he shows everyone what they should and do it. To be champion is what you have to do. No, definitely. But Pacquiao's work ethic is legendary. I was telling someone the other day, I was in a room full of people, I was like, you know, Thurman, maybe some people would know who he is, but everyone in this room would know Pacquiao because he's yeah. a bona fide star still. Yeah, he still is, and he's, uh, again, his, his training is unbelievable. He, he works he works every every day. I mean, he's still, like, unbelievable at this age. He's still, he's still going. Yeah, no, it is incredible, man. Um, quickly, uh, Canelo Jacobs happened a few weeks back. What were your thoughts on it? What you think? I was a little disappointed. I thought that both fighters maybe could have put on maybe a little better show. Uh, it was a little bit boring, and um, uh, I mean, I'm friendly with those guys, yes, but um, I fell asleep. I'm sorry. What, uh, did that change at all with like uh, Triple G and, and, and that fight against Canelo, the third fight? Is your opinion about that change at all? You know, uh, Triple G's, uh, he made some moves in his career. And, what do you think about that? You know, um, you know Abel's my friend, and uh, you know, but I, I have nothing to do with that. And then, you know, when people are saying he's going to get a new trainer, but he's coming to you, I said, no, no, no. I said, I don't think so. I said, you know, so, but, uh, you know, Triple G's a, he is a friend, and Abel's a friend, and I, 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 I hate to see him split up, but, you know, uh, maybe it's what he, what he needs for now. I'm not sure.